start vision okay so i have a brand new windows 10 installation i'm opening up the browser and i'm going to search for visual studio download any second now you watch this it's going to do all kinds of welcome things i don't really want uh, because that's the way the browsers are it'll tell me all about cookies and how wonderful microsoft edge is uh, i don't care what browser i'm using they all work pretty much the same to me so i'm going to search for here we go visual studio download go on start typing rob i'm adding this narration to a pre-recorded video uh, so here we go visual studio blah 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 and so I'm, I'm actually describing what i did yesterday which is like time travel but interesting so we search for visual studio and then we get a whole bunch of links and the one you want is the top one which is the download link there uh, and when you do that you get to the home page for studio now there are a bunch of different downloads you can do one of which is community 2019 so we want that one so we click yes please um, and then there'll be a brief pause while the installer installer <laughs> <laughs> are you with me on this gets downloaded so this is being brought into your uh, machine yours will be faster than mine because mine's running in a fairly cranky way um here we go i want to run the installer installer please hit run it'll scan it uh, to make sure it's not particularly naughty it's from microsoft it should be okay having done that <laughs> in a few moments he said speaking very slowly so the display can catch up with his words okay that goes away then we get the chance to actually um uh, install the thing which is which is always jolly good because before we can do that we have to actually make sure that it's legal to do this so up comes the let me make changes of course you do so now we're going to get uh, another th thank you uh, which is always nice and then after a while the installer download will begin okay so we hit continue when the installer is running and this will now bring down the this is not fetching visual studio um, it's fetching the program that installs and configures visual studio this will take a little while not as long as the whole thing the whole thing <laughs> Blank an afternoon in your calendar and leave it going in the corner while you go out and do other fun stuff is always my plan. But the installer is coming down now. It'll come down, install itself, uh, and then it'll ask you what things you want to actually install in Visual Studio. It's lovely. Here we are. That's the installer running. So now it will actually ask me what things I want to put into my installation. This is very important. Get this wrong and it won't work. It's that important. Scroll down and find Universal Windows Platform and tick it. That one has to be there. Otherwise, you can't write snaps apps. Um, I also go and do the .NET desktop environment as well, which is up a little bit uh, on the top. You don't need that, but I find it kind of useful too. Um, at the moment, I'm using 14.34 gigabytes. You can see that at the bottom right-hand corner. But I'm going to have a look down, see if anything else, anything else you fancy. There's lots of stuff you can put in here. But to get going, all you really want is the universal one and the .NET desktop. I like to have that around as well because it means I can write .NET apps. But that is just me. The most important one, I'm having another look. <laughs> if you want to write Python, Python's good. No JS is there. It, it's all great fun yeah i want to pick that one because that way i can do my dotnet apps as well which is nice um everything else you can leave as is so after after a while of doing this and thinking about it in in deep meaningful ways and checking that everything's there that should be there i'm going to hit install at which point the really meaty business begins so go on press install you know you want to right now this will take a while so go off and leave it it will just look after itself sort itself out and i'll come back and take to the next level when it's finished okie dokie okay great news it's finished and um, we can hit the launch button from within the installer and fire up the program just to see if it works i'm not going to do anything just going to have a little look steve studio is happy and installed um, it's popped up its uh, start window any second now here we go that's actually the front page of studio um, if you want to, you can get in there and do bits and pieces. Uh, I don't want to do much. I'm just going to close this um, and shut it down uh, because we're going to do that. We're going to get hold of our snaps now. So I'll close the installer too, so I don't need that anymore. There you go. Um, and so at this point, I can also close the... I can go off in the browser and start looking for snaps. Okay, so I'm back in the browser. I found github.com slash crazyrobmiles slash snaps. That's me. Um, I'm in my <laughs> snaps <laughs> GitHub repository. 
I've hit clone or download um, and it's now going to actually download the file um, into the um, onto my computer uh, and so having done that I can then take the snaps installation out of this file and actually install it on my machine which is jolly good uh, and all fine stuff. Once we have the file on our PC we can just open it uh, and when you open it it's a zip archive it contains the folder which has got all our snap stuff in it the master folder we can drag that from our downloaded location and drop it onto our desktop when we do that what happens is the files in the archive are unzipped and a folder appears on my desktop con that contains all the files that were in that zip archive there it is now I can then close the archive and open up my folder which contains all my stuff inside that folder is another folder called begin to code with C sharp now I can do what I like with that that's actually got the snaps code in it I can drop into there and double click on the solution that contains snaps and all my programs when I do that what will happen is that Visual Studio will say okay who wants to run this and the answer, answer is I want Visual Studio to run this and it will now open up now now I'm so I'm now opening up the project which has got uh, the actually it's a solution sorry the solution which contains all the snaps stuff uh, from a folder I unzipped from the download which I've dropped onto my desktop if that doesn't make sense watch it through a couple more times I have an archive I've brought down from github I've opened that archive it's a zip archive I've dragged some folder the folder out of that and dropped it on my desktop Visual Studio is now installing the solution. It says, do you trust this solution? It's come from the internet. It knows that. So I say, yes, of course I do. And at that point, it's now beetling its way through the two projects in the solution. And it's hit a question for me. Now, this is important. You need to do this, but only do this once on any given PC. The system wants to know, is it OK for the person using this computer to write programs and deploy them onto it? there's a security issue here and I'm going to explicitly tell Windows 10 it's okay I know what I'm doing please become a computer that allows me to write my own programs there's a security issue here in that it gives you a bit of power in terms of writing code and access to machine elements and software elements that uh, um, are not normally available but you just have to bear in mind that all you do is click on the developer node button and then wait a while this will take a few seconds because Windows will now go off find the developer mode behaviors and add them all to your computer so uh, these are now uh, being put into settings when they're done your machine will then be set up for developer mode that means it can write programs that you yourself has written have written sorry which is exactly what you want to do okay so finally it's all done and all lit up I can check it it's all but I can clear that away get rid of the settings option for that selection never do it again and now I have to <laughs> do one more thing I have to install the libraries that work with this version of snaps this again it's an update to Visual Studio it will take a few seconds you hit OK and what will happen now is the system will go off and fetch the extra libraries that are required to run the version of snaps that's installed on your computer um, and so there'll be a there you go. it's now bringing down stuff from the internet uh, once it's done that then we should be in a position to run the program on this computer. Okay, OneDrive has some questions. Jolly good. I don't want to answer those <laughs> just yet. At the moment, you can see that actually behind the scenes, Studio is now getting happier. The Solution Explorer has downloaded, is, is up, and the properties are up. These are standard Studio displays. It's all in the book about how these works. Uh, these, these work, he said properly. Um, and in a few moments or so I'll actually get to the point where I can actually do something and make my programs run won't that be exciting okay sad story my first attempt to run this failed, which is why you can see the output saying uh, no deployments we have to tell Visual Studio that you're building your application for a Windows PC running on the um, Intel x88 <laughs> x64 platform let's do that go down there select x64 and um, that might take a little while to complete because what's happening now is it's actually reconfiguring the project and studio to deploy for a specific computer platform you do that because you don't want to run this across lots of different devices although you could you want it to work on your PC here and now so what will happen is in a few seconds 
any PC will change to x64 and at that point we can hit the run button and our program will run. So let's do that. There you go. Hit the run on local machine. That's also important. And now the build process begins. Now this is the point at which all the program components that have been written in C sharp and whatnot are now being converted into code that will run on the computer. Now this might take a while. It will take a while the very first time that you do it. So two things will happen in sequence and like I said they might be a little bit slow. They are on my machine when I'm running it in this way through an emulator. So that's that's what we'll, uh, that's kind of how I'm doing it. Um, but <clears throat> once the program has been built, it will then be loaded and start to run, and that will take a few seconds too. So hang fire. I'm going to skip to the end bec because I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer than I possibly can. So I'm going to I'm going to do that. See you in a second or two. Okay, it's actually come up with a program placeholder. This is a good sign. What's going to happen is that now the program will be loaded. Um, the diagnostics tools will kick in and all kinds of wonderful stuff. You can do all kinds of... Studio's a wonderful tool. You can do all kinds of nice things with it. At the moment, it's basically coming up with the placeholder for my screen, and in a few seconds or so, you'll see that screen filled with um, our program, which will be nice. And here it is, begin to code with C-sharp. Welcome to the world of snaps. Indeed, welcome. I'm going to find a program and just run it to prove it goes. Now, this is running a program inside a program, if you like. I'm going to find the, the silly video game right at the very end, and I'm going to run that. So you find the program, you hit run. This is all in the book. Um, and when you run the application, what happens is it actually starts running that snaps program, which is my complete silly, spritey game called um, Space Invaders, Space Rockets in Space. And if I hit the... If I press the space button, what else to start the game going? Then I can I can move the rocket around, I can shoot with it, and I can stop the program by closing the window. There you go. Uh, so at this point, you've got snaps on your computer. You should be a happy bunny. If you've not, please let me know. Um, I'm always interested to hear when things break. <laughs> it makes my day when someone says, your system's bust. But if you do that, found a mistake at robmiles.com uh, will work, as will find a mistake uh, at <laughs> other places as well. But try me first. Uh, and if, if I can help, I will. And if I can't help, I won't. You can't say fairer or more honestly than that. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope it's useful. Um, and uh, I'll say see you soon, but I probably never will. Uh, but anyway, this is Rob Miles saying bye-bye.